So, uh, Jeremy Beer, not a tall trainer, he's sitting down today, but we trust us. Yeah. He's, he's tall. <laughs> I guess I'm sitting today. This is ab abnormal for me. You're We're going to need to do you to like 50 push pushes <laughs> before you walk out. We'll do, we'll do it next time. <laughs> I mean, we like it when you come in because not only do you show, show us how to do things, but you impart the knowledge as well. You impart the knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, knowledge. So, so many times, I mean, uh, it's, I work with clients, and so little of what I do actually has to do with the actual exercise time. Mm -hmm. Is actually so many of the things that happen outside of the exercise time provides most of the results of helping people, you know, sculpt their habits, their lifestyle, and do it in a way that they can actually accomplish it. Mm -hmm. Not so much where they make a, an un unrealistic bar to set, and and it makes, but also make sure they're aware of things. And the summertime is one of the things I want people to be aware of. Right, and you know, I I just maybe I fell into the trap of exactly why we're talking about this because you know, it's summer. I love to get outside. I love to be active. You know, I can feel like I have the more of a space to do burpees while my kids are on the swing set, uh -huh. for example. But maybe that may also makes me go, wait, I did burpees today. I can have that ice cream Sunday. Mm -hmm. If we sort of fall into that, I can do because I've done sort of yes. theory, and that and might so, so be summertime. Bad. We factor like our, our activity like we're saying, oh, we're going to move so much more than the winter time, so it's going to be easy, you know, to do this. But we we actually uh, we overestimate how how awesome it is that we're moving, <laughs> and we underestimate how awesome we're eating. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, we're actually eating quite a bit more. So some of the reasons for this, you know, is now, that, that it's more challenging than the holidays is that it's longer. Mm -hmm. You know, so the holidays, maybe that's like about five weeks uh -huh. for the holidays. Well, we got, you know, you know, eight weeks or so. At least, at least July and August, you can consider, you know, the, the prime summer months, and it may extend even longer than that. So it's a mm -hmm. long time. And so if you're in a vacation mentality that whole time, you're mm -hmm. going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, it's busier, I think, than the holidays. People have things going on all the time. You try to schedule something with somebody during the summer, it's like, well, let's do it in the fall. It's so true, right, because you have so much going on. Yeah. And it's like backyard barbecue, backyard barbecue, backyard, which is a good it's problem to have. Yeah. Don't get food. me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> but what's it some, is. What's some, are, what's some of your tips so when people are going you know, to, to these get backyard. through some of this stuff um, is and one is veggies first okay get there eat veggies first just start start at least one one good thing going at the first and try to go big on them you know, <laughs> go big or home on the veggies so start with that don't say you're not going to have some of this stuff okay but just just hit hit something really really good first okay you know try to stand away from the food if you can so oh. the farther away, the less likely you're to pick at it while you're hanging out with everybody. Does that include the booze? And, and watch out for the booze. <laughs> I would say go one for one with alcohol. So, so like alcohol, water, alcohol, water, oh, alcohol, water. Oh, uh, you're going to get carrot, alcohol, You're going to get dehydrated. <laughs> anyway, you need more water, uh -huh. you know, in a, in a, on a hotter day. And so it, it'll help you get more and more hydration. It'll also cut calories down. And, uh, you know, you, you, you will feel a lot better later on. What do you mean? You know, because, because, you're, because you're better hydrated. I'll go for, look for, like, small substitutes. So, you know, like go home for a burger instead of a hot dog. A hot dog is basically like a stick of butter, you know. So, so have the burger instead, or go for your favorite. So, if, if you got a choice between chips or the bun, which one do you want more? Mm. Do you want ah. the bun on there, or do you like the chips more? You know, so I'm trying to make some of those kind of substitutions as you're making some of those eating decisions. And then try to keep your regular workout routine going, too. So sometimes people go, I'm going to be so active outside, I don't need to do my standard routine. And so they bail on that, and they, kind of, and they overestimate how much, how, how much activity they are getting mm -hmm. you know, when they're out there. And so keep their, you keep the standard beat going, you know, like the background beat. Of, of, of exercise right. and then you add those extra things my wife and I we, we do do a lot more activity in the summertime but we always have our standard routine that we're doing so that way you know we we, we have our, our balance right. you know, to our to our bodies and and we don't uh, you know underestimate too much on our, our and, food and we stay steady through the summer it's and good. it's hard work to keep Doug Emlich in shape this is, is the guy who's taking on that task yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much good to see you thanks. Thanks. local headlines are next